Todd McFarlane gives us our official look at the upcoming McFarlane Toys Snyder Cut Justice League action figures. Let's talk toys. Shout out again to Todd McFarlane. He took to his Facebook, YouTube, interwebs, all that kind of stuff to give us a great video today to show off his brand new McFarlane Toys Justice League figures for the new Snyder Cut that's dropping this weekend on HBO Max. It's about a four hour long movie. I've been hearing great things. I've been hearing, yeah, you know, it's kind of in between. It's going to depend just on how you feel. But we got our good look at the Flash figure, Ezra Miller coming soon. He's going to have all kinds of electrical speed attachments to him. The Ben Affleck Batman yeah, actually looks pretty good. I'll give it to him on that. Always remember, photos, press photos, they're not always the best when it comes to figures in hand. I like the texturing details on that Batman cape. I'm really reserving till I see the movie again. I wasn't a fan of the first one. Here's Henry Cavill's Superman. And again, yeah, he's in the black Kryptonian suit. Cool. Yeah, I, it, it looks okay in him just having them. I'll reserve judgment till I have them in hand. Aquaman, he looks good. Jason Momoa comes with the, the, you know, the trident and such. The designs of the suits the movie designs didn't really do much for me. Yes, they translate well to action figure form, but that's not McFarlane's thing. You know, it's it's what the movie is doing, and they're just recreating that. Cyborg looks pretty good. I will say this, in conjunction with, like, how the Mattel figures were way, way, way back then, it, you know, these are better to look at, <laughs> we'll just say. You know, it just... The whole aspect of the Justice League movie was odd and you know Steppenwolf I think he has a much better design this time around I don't really know what I'm looking at in terms of the design but he scales well with the new figures and that's really what I look for and hope for so fingers crossed for the movie coming up I really do hope that it's amazing and at four hours long I'm gonna get the popcorn ready but yeah Steppenwolf he does look good Dark side looks pretty great as well, especially in hand. I don't, again, I don't think the photos, the press photos did him justice. Yeah, people are saying he's got like a wonky kind of torso to him, but I would say just wait till you got him in hand or you see him in the shelves because that face and everything else, that's a cool looking dark side. I'm, I am, of all the figures, I'm looking forward to him. Now, Todd did show off the scaling. So, you know, $20 to a $40 dark side, you are getting a more hefty figure. A lot of people would like a lot more accessories and such at that mark. I am on that. I think that, yes, they should include a couple more hands or weapons, something to interswap, especially for Superman. But they did not. So there you go. You know, it depends. If you really want it, you can get it. But I like the scaling between all the figures. I think that they really did that and kept that in mind, especially when seeing it in the two boxes. So Justice League 2021 so far in the toy sense, is off to a good start. Now, when will you expect to see these? This weekend, in conjunction with the Justice League movie dropping on HBO Max, the pre-orders will go up. Most likely all the major retailers that you kind of institute with that. They already went up on Amazon about a week ago. I'll have the links below if they still work. They've kind of been in and out, but they had the four up initially. Other DC Multiverse figures have been hitting as well. Target stores specifically. Some Walmarts have gotten them, but John Stewart here, here's the barcode. I found him at my local Target. So definitely, he's a great figure. I have a video up if you want to check him out. Also, the Dark Father Build-A-Figure Wave is coming out as well. The Target pre-orders went up last week. So a lot of great figures as far as the DC multiverse realm is. So comic books to movies to, you know, all the different multiversal outlets. I think you're going to be in good hands depending on your tastes for the DC universe. For those that were kind of wondering, the figures should hit stores in and around June. I'll have the pre-order links up depending on when you see this video this weekend, whenever they go up. And just as a heads up, once the movie comes out, everyone's seen it over the weekend, this coming Monday, three more figures, let's say in and around Monday, three more figures should go up for pre-order as well. In conjunction with the movie, there'll be Superman, Batman, and Cyborg. No word just yet on where a certain maybe other kind of dark side will be coming out. I would say wait for the official confirmation from McFarland Toys going further on that. But as far as we know, yeah, Monday we will see three other figures variants go up for pre-order as well in conjunction with the Snyder Cut. So I'm going to leave you guys with that.
As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to this Snyder Cut, I just want it to be a great movie. I really do. Because the last one, nah, it just was not my cup of tea. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.